All right, with the data the way it is now, we have uh, one more major step, or at least another step of analysis that needs to be done. Um, looking at our tabs that contain, after the calc sheet here, Mayo, first cuvette, second cuvette, third cuvette, fourth, fifth, and sixth. Six isn't finished yet. Third, uh, there are some issues to be concerned about, specifically these ones in here. I'm going to ask them, if, see if they might want to redo these ones. They should probably come down in this area. I don't know exactly what happened here. Um, and then there were some other ones that we wanted to look at, some specific ones within these sets that might need redone. But the next step in analysis is to create the michaelis metten curve from the different Vmaxes at different temperatures, right, at, at a given temperatures, at a specific temperatures. So say that again, to um, collect the Vmax, sorry, uh, at a given temperature from the different concentrations. So that means going to this data set for first cuvette, for example, collecting this uh, right here, not that one, sorry, uh, the, this one right here, this is our K-cat, and we want to take the, the one right above the K-cat, the VMAX here, we're going to take that, we're going to copy it, and um, we'll create a new space in this calc sheet over here. And we'll paste this right click and paste special just the value. All right, so this is our um, uh, this is our rate at the first concentration. The first concentration of hydrogen peroxide is here, so we can copy this over here. We'll actually put oops, try to paste just the value. Line these up. So this is the first concentration, the first cuvette. This is all these are the second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth concentrations. We'll paste those right here. Okay, so we got our first cuvette, the second cuvette, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. We're going to add in here our zeroth cuvette where show that we have um, blanked our equipment so at no hydrogen peroxide zero concentration of zero molar hydrogen peroxide we don't get any rate that's our blank okay so I got this rate from my first cuvette and that was for 25 degrees Celsius so the temperature up here is for 25 so now I want to get the rate for the second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth cuvettes at 25 degrees Celsius. So I go in here, I look for 25. So this one apparently doesn't have the value yet, um, but I would take it from right here, copy and paste it. Um, let me take a look at this real quick. Okay, so I got this second cuvette, 25 degrees Celsius. I'm going to take that in here, and let me double check here. Yeah, copied it there. I'm going to paste, right click just the value. All right. I'm going to check this out, see how it's looking. Okay, it's looking all right. I'm going to go ahead and do that with the third cuvette now. Looks like this is the one that they were trying to do 25 at. It's slightly off, but that's all right. We'll be able to deal with it. So we're going to paste that right here. OK, 
Okay. Then we go to our fourth cuvette. 25. Doesn't look like they have these values there. Let me fix that. So we can copy and paste these equations, just one cell below like this for all of these and it should generate our, our values that we want. So I got my 25 at uh, fourth cuvette. I'm going to paste that into here. Right click just the values. Control Shift V is the shortcut for that. Fifth cuvette, 25 degrees. All right, and then soon I'll be able to get the, the sixth cuvette there. And then once we have this, we're going to want to do a Michaelis Minton fit. And, um, get the Michaelis Minton projected VMAX. All right. So I've almost finished the all of them. All we're missing is six here for number for 25 degrees. And for each of these, if we go back, we'll see the next temperature is 28. So I need to go and gather again all of these VMAXs for the uh, 28 degrees, the different cuvettes, and begin to propagate them in a new line here. 28. Um, these values will all be the same, these concentrations. Um, and then I need to put in these values there. And I need to create one of these where this will So that is the level or the um, next step that we need to do. We need to get all these values for all these different temperatures.